and after a while, the shoes I was wearing weren't adequate for them. I then turned around and went back to my car. Before realizing I did not have my phone with me, I returned and drove the remaining distance home. I experienced the horrible feeling that comes with losing your phone. I then realized, after taking a look around my vehicle, that I hadn't used my phone because I had been too far in the forest. I came to realize that I was certain of its location. Well, not exactly, but in the general area where it might be. I realized it probably fell out of my pocket as I made my way through the challenging terrain in the forest. It was already getting dark, and I hesitated a little before returning there. However, I had previously spent the night in the forest and was not at all frightened. Neither had I seen anybody else that day in the park. Therefore, I didn't worry too much that someone would steal my phone or something similar. Like many people, I do everything on my mobile. So, even though it was late, I decided to head back and dash outside to grab my phone. I had a lot of faith that I would seek it. As soon as I arrived, I restarted down the path. I cannot help but feel a little uneasy about going into the forest by myself at night. I continued on the path until I reached the spot where I had earlier left it. I've always had a great sense of direction and landmarks, so I was able to recognize the location. Then I continued on the short, unmarked trail until I reached the section of uneven ground where I was hoping to find my phone. I walked into the area. About fifty feet away, I figured I heard the sound of a tree limb breaking. I stopped in my tracks and fell silent, but as I resumed my walk, I heard nothing at all. But as I continued to hear strange sounds, I assumed they were coming from an animal and turned to face them. Nothing caught my eye. The sound of walking could then be heard once more in the distance. But from the sound of the footsteps, it was clear that it was a human. Even so, knowing that it was unusual that anybody would be here at this time, I hesitantly opted to call out. I said hello just in case there was anyone else around, but I received no reply. But I didn't know what type of creature it would be. My phone was eventually on the ground as I slowly walked over to it. Finding what I had been searching for finally brought such a sense of relief. I was now unable to leave the forest. I grabbed it. As I continued, I could hear the sounds approaching me once more. I was simply unable to identify the source of the noises. I did a thorough search. Eventually, I thought I occasionally saw something that resembled a person ducking behind a tree in the distance. For a brief moment, all I observed was a leg. Then it was over. But I decided to leave as soon as I could. I was reluctant to flee. I, therefore, began to move slowly, but it soon became a fast walk. I reached my breaking point when I heard sounds coming from behind me. I then made it a full sprint. I ran through the forest as quickly as I could, hearing some sounds behind me. The noises weren't that close. Furthermore, I had no way of knowing for certain if I was being watched but I didn't want to stay any longer than necessary. I was just glad to leave, and I had my phone with me. I eventually found my way back to my vehicle, fired it up, and drove off. I took my car home. I was able to reply to some text messages I had received and other things once I came home. I discovered the camera app was open while using my mobile. I went online and found some unfamiliar photos on my phone. My mobile had taken many photographs during the time it had been lost in the forest. Another pair of blurry images, one of the ground and one of the sky, emerged. Then I noticed someone who looked like a guy, but it was very blurry. His face was so blurry that I could not make out any details or anything like that. But looking at those images ended up giving me the creeps. That forested area was truly isolated and situated in a remote area. I can't even imagine who would have been on my phone if anyone else had been present. I'm fairly certain that the individual who took those pictures was with me when I was in the forest. 